Her name was Lenara, a name whispered through ancient scrolls and inked in forgotten books. She was timeless, an ageless beauty who walked silently through the folds of centuries, slipping between worlds with the ease of a shadow moving across the ground. Her porcelain skin, framed by dark waves of hair that cascaded like ink, seemed untouched by the passage of time, an enigma to anyone who might catch a fleeting glimpse of her. She was often dressed in delicate lace the color of rose quartz, the kind of garment that belonged to an era lost in the dust of memory. Lenara had a gift, one that both blessed and burdened her. She was a time weaver, an individual capable of traversing the delicate threads of time, of moving not only backward and forward through the years, but also sideways, into alternate worlds where the rules of existence bent in strange and wonderful ways. The ability came naturally to her, as instinctual as breathing, though it required careful precision. One misstep, one thread pulled too far, and the tapestry of history could unravel, casting her, and perhaps the world, into chaos. On this particular evening, Lenara found herself in a small, candlelit room, the walls adorned with faded floral patterns that seemed to blur at the edges, as if melting into dreams. The room was old and dim, with the faint scent of lavender and parchment lingering in the air. She stared at her reflection in a dusty mirror, seeing not the young woman most perceived, but a soul stretched and worn by countless lifetimes. Tonight, she had traveled to retrieve something, a relic left in this era by accident. It was a ring, one that shimmered faintly with an inner light, carrying with it the echoes of ages past. The ring was her anchor, a totem that allowed her to navigate time's turbulent currents. Without it, she risked becoming lost, unable to return to her own world. As she slipped the ring onto her finger, the air around her shimmered, as if reality itself had taken a breath. Lenara felt the familiar pull, a gentle tug in her chest as the world blurred around her, the boundaries of time dissolving like mist. She closed her eyes, letting herself drift through the endless corridors of history, past kings and queens, wars and peace, love and loss. When she opened her eyes again, she stood in another time, a place untouched by the weariness of her travels. She found herself on the edge of a tranquil lake, the water reflecting a sky painted with colors only twilight could muster. Here, in this moment, she felt peace, a rare feeling for someone who existed between realms. And though she was bound to the cycle of time's endless march, for just a moment, Lenara allowed herself to be still, to breathe, to simply exist, but she knew it couldn't last. She was a time weaver, forever bound to the endless dance of ages, to the ceaseless march of past and future. And so, with a gentle smile and a whisper of gratitude for the beauty of the fleeting moment, Lenara turned and stepped back into the shadows, fading from sight as if she had never been there at all. Lenara had returned to the quiet place she called home between journeys, an unchanging room caught between light and shadow, where the walls held no memory and time never dared linger. But tonight, as she drifted through the half-light, something unexpected pulled her out of the stillness. She sensed a presence, a ripple in the fabric of time she hadn't felt before. Turning, Lenara found herself face to face with a young girl, a mirror of herself but cast in softer hues, with eyes wide and filled with a question neither of them could name. This was Seraphine, a soul woven from the same celestial threads as Lenara, yet untouched by time's wear. Though Lenara had only heard whispers of her, Seraphine was her counterpart, a time wanderer who had walked different paths, danced with different ages. Her face, gentle and full of wonder, held an innocence Lenara had long since lost. She was dressed simply, in a gown that shimmered faintly in the dim light, capturing glimmers of silver and gold, as though stars had fallen into the fabric. Lenara, Seraphine's voice was soft, like the murmur of wind through ancient trees. You left traces, shadows of your presence across worlds. I followed them, like fragments of a song I couldn't help but sing along to. Lenara felt a rare smile tug at her lips. She had known others of her kind existed, but she had never met one, until now. The sight of Seraphine stirred something deep within her, a memory of who she had once been, before the weight of centuries had settled on her shoulders. Seraphine, Lenara whispered, if you followed the threads this far, you must understand the cost. Seraphine's gaze flickered, momentarily shadowed by the knowledge she carried, the burden of endless years. Yet her eyes glimmered with a hope that Lenara had thought lost to time. I know. But maybe, together, we could find a way to ease it. Lenara hesitated, glancing at the ring on her finger, her tether to this existence. Seraphine reached forward, her delicate fingers brushing Lenara's hand. At the touch, a warmth surged between them, a soft glow that filled the room, casting shadows into light. It was as though time itself paused, curious to watch these two souls. 
and in that moment Lenara knew. They were bound by more than their abilities. They were bound by destiny, two sides of a timeless coin, each carrying half of an ancient power. Together they could weave a new path, one where the burden of eternity might not feel so heavy. Without another word they clasped hands, and the world around them faded, leaving behind only the faintest echo of laughter and the shimmer of light upon the air as Lenara and Seraphine stepped into the unknown, ready to reshape the ages with their newfound bond. In one of the countless timelines Lenara and Seraphine encountered, they found themselves in a world where time held a sinister weight. This timeline was a place steeped in ritual and relics, the air thick with the scent of incense and whispers of long-forgotten spells. At the center of this darkened world was the Skull of Ages, a relic infused with the collective memories and lost secrets of a thousand timelines. The skull was intricately carved, adorned with arcane symbols glowing faintly in shades of purple and gold. Its eye sockets flickered with an otherworldly fire, a reminder that this was no ordinary artifact. The Skull of Ages was alive, or at least it held fragments of consciousness from the souls who had touched it in ages past. Legend said it was capable of revealing the deepest mysteries of time to those who dared to seek its knowledge, but the price was steep. Each secret it whispered demanded a fragment of the seeker's own soul, leaving them hollow and weary, drained of vitality. Lenara felt the pull of the skull's magic almost immediately, a lure that resonated deep within her bones, beckoning her closer. But it was Seraphine who was transfixed. She stared into the fiery eyes of the skull, drawn by an intense curiosity that bordered on obsession. This world, with its solemn relics and ominous energies, was unlike anything she had encountered before, and the Skull of Ages promised answers, answers that could explain their purpose, the true nature of their powers, perhaps even a way to escape the relentless pull of time. Seraphine, be careful, Lenara warned, her voice a soft echo against the flickering candlelight. She could feel the danger radiating from the artifact, a hunger that resonated in the very core of the timeline itself. The Skull demands a price. If you listen too closely, you might lose yourself. But Seraphine was entranced. She reached out a trembling hand, letting her fingertips graze the skull's surface. Instantly, a torrent of visions flooded her mind. Countless worlds collapsing, ages passing in a heartbeat, memories from lives she had never lived. It was overwhelming, a deluge of knowledge that threatened to drown her. She could see herself in other forms, other timelines, living and dying in endless cycles. Lenara watched in horror as Seraphine's face twisted, caught between wonder and agony. She knew she had to act quickly. She grasped Seraphine's shoulder, pulling her back, breaking the connection between her and the skull. Seraphine gasped, her eyes wide with lingering fragments of visions, her face pale and hollow. In that moment, they both understood the power and the peril of this timeline. The Skull of Ages was not just a relic, it was a trap, a manifestation of time's own hunger for those who sought to conquer it. And though they had escaped, a fragment of Seraphine's soul remained with the skull, a piece of her forever bound to this dark world. They left the timeline, slipping back into the shifting corridors of eternity. But Lenara knew the shadow of the Skull of Ages would haunt them, a reminder that some mysteries were best left unexplored. And as they traveled onward, she could see a faint change in Seraphine, a quiet, haunted look in her eyes, a piece of herself lost to the secrets she had glimpsed but would never fully understand. In yet another timeline, Lenara and Seraphine stepped into a realm pulsing with life, colors, and a deep, almost sentient stillness. This was the realm of the eternal spirit, a plane where existence was neither constrained by nor defined by time. Here, the essence of the universe was woven into everything, from the petals of the blooming roses to the vibrant air that shimmered with hues of purple and green. Everything radiated an energy that resonated with their souls, a warmth they had not felt in countless journeys. At the heart of this world was a majestic lion, his mane flowing like rivers of lavender and violet, each strand seeming to breathe with a life of its own. His eyes held a depth that spoke of eons of truths beyond the boundaries of time. This lion, known as Arian, was a guardian spirit, a being of pure consciousness and inner strength, revered by every living soul within this world as the keeper of spiritual truths. As Lenara and Seraphine approached, the lion turned his wise gaze upon them, and they felt an instant connection, as if they had known this being across lifetimes and worlds. Arian's eyes held a wisdom that pierced through the layers of their existence, peeling back every mask and every defense until only their true selves remained. Lenara could feel her burdens lighten, and Seraphine's lingering sorrow from the skull of ages softened in the presence of this ancient being. Welcome, travelers of the ages, Arian spoke, his voice a soft rumble that echoed in the air and in their minds. You have journeyed far and seen much, 
Tell me, what is it you seek? Lenara hesitated, glancing at Seraphine, who nodded slightly, encouraging her to speak. We seek balance, Lenara began, her voice trembling with the weight of the countless timelines they had traversed. We have seen worlds of darkness and despair, timelines where the soul is fractured. We have carried these experiences, and they have left marks on us that we do not fully understand. We seek a way to cleanse, to let go of what no longer serves us. Arian nodded slowly, as if contemplating the entirety of their journeys. Balance comes not from erasing the shadows, but from accepting them, from letting them find their place within you. The light and dark are both part of the same truth. To seek only one is to deny the other, and in that denial, imbalance grows. He lowered his head, and as he did, the roses around him began to bloom, filling the air with a fragrance that was both intoxicating and grounding. Take from these flowers, he instructed. Each petal holds a piece of wisdom, a reminder that you are whole, even with the burdens you bear. Let the fragrance be your guide, the colors your compass. Lenara and Seraphine each plucked a single petal from a rose, feeling its softness and warmth in their fingers. As they inhaled its scent, a wave of peace washed over them, soothing the scars of past journeys and easing the ache in their hearts. For the first time they understood, they were not defined by the weight of time or the knowledge they carried. They were simply part of a vast, interconnected tapestry, one woven from both light and shadow. With a final, grateful glance at Arian, they felt themselves drawn away, back to the corridors of time. But this time, they carried with them the memory of this place, a timeline of spiritual wonder and wisdom that would stay with them as a guiding light, a reminder of balance, of acceptance, and of the beauty that lay in the union of all things. The corridors of time stretched endlessly before Lenara and Seraphine, their walls alive with swirling hues of gold, indigo, and emerald. Each archway represented a timeline, a doorway into worlds both familiar and strange. The paths twisted in loops and spirals, leading into the depths of eternity where the past and future interwove in intricate patterns. As they walked side by side, the soft echoes of their footsteps harmonized with the faint musical hum emanating from the walls, a symphony of moments, memories, and lives intertwined. It was as if the corridor itself held a heartbeat, pulsing with the stories of countless souls who had traversed these passages. In these halls they had glimpsed lifetimes both beautiful and harrowing. Here, the essence of their journeys manifested in each shift of color and light, reminding them of the fragments they carried from each realm, the haunting chill of the skull of ages, the warm wisdom of Arian, and the timeless peace they sought but could never quite hold on to. Seraphine paused, her hand grazing one of the shimmering walls. Images rippled across the surface, a city consumed by vines, a river running backward, a family reunited in a time lost. Each flicker was a life, a choice, a moment suspended in the fabric of eternity. These are all of us, she murmured, her voice a reverent whisper. Everyone who has ever existed, everyone who ever will, all their lives captured in a single, infinite passage. Lenara nodded, her gaze tracing the arc of a nearby portal, its amber glow beckoning with a quiet warmth. Yes, we're all part of it, woven into something greater. And yet, we are still ourselves, no matter how many threads we touch. They continued forward, each step bringing them closer to their own destiny, yet they knew they were part of an endless story, one that would continue to echo through these corridors long after they were gone. The corridors of time would remain, a testament to the lives lived and the worlds woven together, a silent keeper of memories that would never fade. And in this realization, they found a sliver of peace, the understanding that, though they were travelers, they were also threads in the eternal tapestry, bound together by the timeless corridors through which they journeyed. As Lenara and Seraphine journeyed deeper into the corridors of time, a gentle realization settled over them. They had glimpsed the darkest and brightest parts of existence, touched lives they would never fully know, and carried pieces of each realm within themselves. They had seen the struggle between shadow and light, the dance of spirit and flesh, and the unyielding passage of time. Yet through all this they had found balance, not in escaping their burdens, but in embracing them. At last they reached a doorway suffused with a warm golden light that filled them with an inexplicable peace. They paused, looking back down the long, twisting corridor they had traveled, knowing that, in some way, this was their last journey. It wasn't an ending, but a transformation, a place where their paths would change, merging back into the greater flow of time. Perhaps this is what it means to be whole, Seraphine whispered her hand still holding Lenara's, to carry all of it, the joy, the sorrow, the light, and the dark, and still move forward. Lenara smiled, a serene warmth in her gaze. 
Yes, and to understand that we are all woven together. We are never truly alone, not in this corridor, not in any timeline. With a final look, they stepped through the doorway, and their forms dissolved into threads of golden light, merging with the eternal tapestry that stretched across time itself. They had become part of the corridors, their wisdom and memories forever interwoven into the fabric of existence. The corridors of time remained, awaiting the next travelers who would walk its winding paths, seeking their own truths, finding their own balance. And as you stand here, reader, you too are part of this eternal journey. We are all time travelers, moving forward with each choice, each moment, shaping our stories and those of others. A call to action. As Lenara and Seraphine's journey concludes, reflect upon your own path. Embrace the light and shadows within you, recognize the connections that bind us all, and honor the timeless wisdom you carry. Let their story inspire you to seek balance in your life, to see beauty in each moment, and to understand that every step forward weaves a greater story, one that echoes in the corridors of time forever. So what part will you play? What legacy will you leave in the timeless tapestry? The journey is yours to begin.